Hi everyone. Well, welcome to my vanity slash closet. Yep, this is where it all happens. This is where I get myself ready every day and where I film my videos. So I thought I would take you along on a little tour and show you my um, vanity room and my makeup setup and also chit chat with you about how I got started on YouTube. So stay tuned. So guys, first things first, pour yourself a cup of coffee and of course you have to add a little bit of elbow grease, get a good set of instructions and measure twice, cut once. Nope, just kidding, not for these little cubicles, but I added another six um, cubby shelf in my vanity room, so stay tuned and um, I'll share everything with you. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping in. Today I thought I would share with you my a vanity slash closet. Um, this is the room where it all happens, where I get myself ready, I, I do the hair and makeup, and where I film my videos. Yes, it is my master bedroom closet. I took a section of it and I kind of squeezed everything I needed into uh, this little area and I'm very thankful that I have the area to do that with and um, kind of squished my husband in on the other side for the time being anyway. I thought I would share with you um, the room that I film in and how I have my um, vanity and um, the necessities set up. So basically, this is the door into the master bedroom closet, and I'm just going to share with you, um, you know, kind of my space so that um, I don't invade on the privacy of uh, my husband. But pretty much the upper area um, we keep for storage, and I do use an assortment of bins. Um, I pretty much just have um, lots of, you know, off-season things stored and um, some of my craft gadgets and uh, things like that. And I know I've shown this before, but this is how I have uh, my um, shoes set up in shoe cases all the way down to the floor. And also now I um, bought a sweater bin and I fold all of my jeans and um, store some of my um, extra shoes in there but as the fall rolls around I will be um, storing some of my sweaters there and then of course I have this acrylic um, purse rack that I bought at TJ Maxx I believe and it's really handy to store um, your hanging purses that you may be going in and out of using and uh, here are just some of my uh, dress clothing. And here is where my actual area that you may see on film starts. And um, pretty much what I've worked on is another cubby um, that has uh, six little cubes in it. And um, it was identical to the other that I had. And I got rid of a, a three drawer plastic um, bin that was just kind of um, getting a little dilapidated and uh, I just figured this right here would just give me more room and um, I like the convenience of having some of my jewelry out because then that way it's easy to access and go in and out of but my um, good stones and pearls I do keep up so that they don't get exposed to um, a lot of dust. And I have scarves hanging here on this back wall. Um, they're pretty and um, easy access. And just a few decorations on this closet wall because I just tried to spruce it up for, um, you know, uh, filming the videos. And here I have my favorite candle burning whipped cream and pear. It's from Anthropology. It's super nice. And I'll just share with you um, some of what I've put in the cubic the cubicles or the little cubbies. I have a jewelry box here that I've had for several years that I believe I bought at, yes, Pottery Barn and um, 
just perfumes and little uh, free sample perfumes that I have in that little decorative um, pink glass. And here is just a cubby um, that I keep my hair dryers in and hot irons. And here, all my combs and brushes. Down below, I'm short one bin, a striped one, so I will pick that up once I go to Target. I think I have an empty bin there. Here I have some of my um, stock supply that I use for um, cotton pads and uh, some of my Rodan and Fields um, face regimen uh, system and just some extra um, samples that I get. I'll just store in the bin and then I'll use them as I need them. And this is an empty bin right there. And then I just decorate with a few other um, little things on these open bins. This just is casing a bunch of uh, brushes that I use intermittently in and out. And I'm sure I need to spend some time going through there and uh, cleaning them up some more and just donating them. And then a couple of my favorite books and my Chanel powders that I do use frequently. Over here in the corner, I have this little kind of apothecary um, stand, and it's got some shelves in there that makes it really nice. To I put some baskets in, and it houses my hair products and just extra shampoos and things like that that I have. And then, of course, on top, I have this acrylic holder for um, lipsticks, and I just kind of decorate. Um, the top of that and that way these are easily accessible and uh, yeah I have a lot of lipsticks but believe it or not I use them and I love them and for those of you who aren't into makeup I don't think you're going to enjoy this at all um, but for those of you that are I think you'll um, enjoy it and this is just how I display some of my um, lipsticks and um, that's really the only makeup that I do have out. Everything else is in drawers. And here I just have a little uh, decorations on the wall. My daughter-in-law was in Paris and uh, picked me up a couple of these. They're like postcards, but I just kind of used them for little framings on the wall because I thought it was cute. And I love teddy bears. And so, of course, I just had to add a teddy bear to the room. And uh, my clock. And then I have a little... Um, just a three drawer plastic bin here that I have covered with um, a little um, scarf and just to add some color here. And then here is a, oh, let me move this out of the way, four bin um, drawer that houses my, um, you know, undergarments and some um, pajamas and then that little space I use just for some um, tripods and filming stuff and uh, here on the wall I kind of bought these um, flower kind of decorations at Hobby Lobby a while back. I have a little hook here where I have some headbands that I use when I'm washing my face and then in this far corner I have another storage bin that um, has these drawers in it and boy is that handy and this is where I house the majority of my makeup. Here is my um, vanity and I've shown this before and um, it's not huge. It was in kind of a um, oaky um, color but it was really it had a lot of red to it and it just I didn't like it so I went ahead and um, chalk painted it and it was a fun project and I think it's just really really cute and it's a very functional vanity and underneath my hidden stash of empties extra um, trash bags that I recycle and then my um, course my trash bin and this is um, the vanity chair that I sit on right there and I just have it covered with this um, faux blanket it's nice and soft because it's got that uh, brown striped um, it's really durable and sturdy but I just need to recover it and um, find some pretty material which I'll do someday but uh, this is it this is where um, the action.
action happens. This is where I get dressed and I have just a big old rug in here. And so honestly, it's just a cozy, comfy little room. It's a little place where I can come in and relax and um, get ready and do my makeup and I don't have all that dust and um, you know makeup stuff just um, laying around and I'm uh, pretty messy when I'm getting myself ready so it's kind of nice to have a surface area and a place to just work and I'll show you my drawers here and trust me I haven't cleaned them out I need to this is just a drawer that I have my lip liners in and glosses that's easily accessible and an extra pair of little scissors and a magnifying mirror oh which I need all the time and this is just a drawer also and I know where everything's at these are just some um, you know mascara for eyebrows I have brushes and then I have some lot whoops I'm not showing you anything I have some liners in here um, some gloss and as you can see just different little items that I might need um, some um, mascara for eyebrows and trust me there's probably about three four tubes in there that are dried up and need to be tossed uh, and I don't want to make you dizzy here and here I have these skinny little drawers and my current mascara is that I'm using my curling iron I mean my curling um, eyelash curler um, and it's kind of like uh, little hair ties and little clips that I might need. I keep everything in this skinny little drawer because that drawer is kind of hard to find, um, you know, a purpose for things because it is so narrow, but it works for me. And then I know where my eyelash curler is at all times and I'm not digging it out. And then this drawer is pretty much packed. And this is what I call my um, uh, cream of the crop. <laughs> type um, makeup it's my uh, Chanel and my Tom Ford's and I kind of group everything together some of my Charlotte Tilbury it's mostly stuff that I do use on a very routine basis with blushes highlighters eyeshadows and um, just keep it all in one place and I'll show you the top of my vanity of course there's my um, mirror that I love it's, you have to get used to it, but once you do, you really do like it. Oh, don't mind my boxes, but as you can see, I'm cleaning out closets, so I'm getting uh, stuff ready for um, to donate. And here's the brushes that I use on a routine basis, and here I have this little lamp, which makes it really cozy in here. And those are my pencils and liners and easily accessible, and I know where things are at, so um, it just makes it that much more comfortable. And then here's a bottom drawer, and in this bottom drawer I just have things like... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Um, things for under your eyes, a little bit of primer, um, concealers, and I keep everything in a basket here. Extra Q-tips, because I use these all the time, and wipes, can't do without wipes, and everything is just so convenient and accessible. This drawer is um, a top drawer that I have some uh, jewelry pad wipers, my um, readers are in here. Um, extra primers for my face I keep all together and then this bin also has just extras of things that I have purchased um, because I know I use them all the time um, this is really good stuff this uh, psycho pair and they were out for like several months and when they finally came in I just ordered two of the smaller size here's all my foundations that I try to keep all together and I do use these extra bins when you're shopping for something like that just make sure you measure whatever um, drawer or space you want those things to go into and I think it just keeps them from sliding around into these loose bins and here yep y'all know I'm a powder girl so yep all my different powders and of course back here more powders mm -hmm. and believe it or not I do use them I use them quite routinely and in this drawer I have mostly all of my blushes highlighters and um, 
that's pretty much what's back here and a couple of um, palettes and bronzers and at least I know if I'm looking for something it's just that convenient to just go into um, that drawer where I have them all together these are mostly all of my eye palettes that I own um, to me it's a lot but to others it might just be a drop in the bucket and here I have a few more palettes and um, just some um, items that were purchased um, during certain sales that are limited edition. So I pretty much keep all of my palettes in those two drawers. In this drawer here, my extra sponges and um, my um, setting sprays, keep all those grouped together. And these drawers down here are just extras. So I have these two drawers with just um, extra supplies so I know that when I get something that's new or something I want to try or sometimes it's just items that come out of my FabFitFun box I will put them in there and like I said I try to store some of my um, extra things that I get uh, if I've ordered something in a particular bin so that I know it's all there and if I want to try a new mask that might just be a one-time deal um, you know with a little sample then I keep it all together here on the top is a basket and I have my makeup sponges which that needs to come out and that they both need to be washed and then I have my rollers in here that I use all the time and um, just a lip gloss and I keep that right on top. So this setup here is so handy. It is so nice to be able to just have everything right here um, at um, fingertip level and in the drawers. And once you get used to where you are grouping everything, and if you group like things together, um, it makes it that much easier to um, get yourself ready. And then back there I have some of my nail polish. It's not all of it, but it is some of it. It's mostly the nail polishes that I will um, change out for the season. And then, you know, when I want the darker ones, I'll just kind of switch those back into a container. But um, this is it, guys. Um, I think I've kind of given you a pretty good tour of um, the room. It's not huge but uh, it certainly does the purpose for me and like I said I use baskets and no they don't all match perfectly but they do fit the size I kind of get an idea of um, you know either a shelf or a, dr um, a drawer set or tables that you know I might want to use and then I measure and try to find um, little bins that will fit into them and uh, as you can see I just clip some of my bigger clips that I need when I'm doing my hair there and uh, I was just really satisfied with um, putting another uh, set of cubbies in here and uh, that way I can just keep everything even and uh, just for easy access. So guys, this is it. This is my little, what I call my safe haven. It's the space that I can come to to relax. Um, I do enjoy doing these videos. A couple of you have asked me if I would do kind of like a little um, uh, introduction information on how I got started or why I got started. Um, and so I just thought it would be kind of nice to just sort of tie it in with this because this is where um, I say the magic happens because uh, I just heard uh, Charles Stanley um, in a YouTube um, thing I was listening to um, and he was talking in his message and saying something about um, you know things that are important or not important and you know he said yeah it's fine if you want to dress up and make yourself up and do this or do that you know those aren't the things that are important um, but it's important as to I guess you know the emphasis that you put on um, different things and he kind of made a little joke and he just said but I just say hey paint it as long as you can and 
I cracked up because I thought that's true paint it as long as you can and that's kind of my motto because I do like makeup and yes I have a beautiful collection of makeup that yeah, I've been collecting for years and years. I've loved, loved, loved makeup. And uh, so I'm always loving, trialing new things. Um, I love getting samples. Oh, I love to go to Sephora and ask for a sample of this and a sample of that. And uh, I do share a lot of my, um, you know, palettes and um, things like that. Um, I don't share. Um, mascaras or um, lipsticks I do I'll scrape them off um, especially those that I've only tried once and maybe just found okay this doesn't suit me it's not good for me so I do pass those um, things on but one of the reasons that I started YouTube is well first of all because I enjoy watching YouTube I um, have learned a lot um, I first started out years ago um, when YouTube started to become popular and kind of watching videos on how to how do you do this how do you do that and enjoyed them and then um, one year my son bought me an iPad and said you will love it and I was like no no I don't want anything like that I'm I'm just good with my phone and my phone wasn't even an iPhone at the time and he's like no mom I think you'll really like this I go, well, what do you do on this thing this iPad thing and um, wow how much I've changed and so I started watching YouTube and I thought oh my gosh that is a clever idea or that's handy or I need an idea because I want to make um, something for this room and you know I want it to be in this color or that color and so that's where things started to um, change you know with YouTube and then Pinterest and you know all the fun things you can do there and um, just you know watching YouTube and then actually having certain YouTube um, people that I looked forward to their next video and what they were sharing and what I was learning and um, so once I basically moved from Illinois um, to Tennessee and I no longer was working I was kind of into semi-retirement we were purchasing a home and then we were moving my mom in with me um, it was shortly after we purchased our home and um, I got my mom situated moving in with us I thought to myself well I like to talk and I like to share with others something that's new or a new discovery for me or hey have you tried this recipe or hey I found a new lipstick color it's really nice or have you tried the brand blah blah and I just enjoyed that time watching videos it relaxed me um, and it then became a thing where I thought well let me try this let me just take out my iPad and just do a little filming and see what I can come up with. And um, so there that turned into um, fooling around and, you know, then making a video on my iPhone and then um, just talking about things that I like and why would I talk about things that I don't like and then I thought about my audience and my age group and decided you know there may not be a huge following there um, and certain age groups might think I can't learn anything from someone that old some people think you're too old to wear makeup or you're too old to dress stylish but that to me is not what my channel is about what my channel is about is sharing with you what I like 
sharing something new that I've discovered along the way or that I saw on some other YouTube channel that was great and I loved the product so I want to bring it and share it with you and also it became a way of communicating with you and your responses to my videos and just your input and some of the things that you do I love that and as I was putting out little videos you know teeny tiny little videos and had a few little responses what I found mostly was an escape time for me it was just that time where um, you know everything was done at home and I like had moved away um, had a new house so I was busy with getting everything settled for that and then I found that you know I took on a different role uh, becoming a caregiver for my mom and her needs and um, the stress that is included in that I kind of thought it wouldn't be that way and so I needed something I have a lot of hobbies I love to crochet I love to read um, I love to cook I consider that to be a hobby whereas I know a lot of people consider that to be a chore um, so I've always had um, those things that I can do um, that help me get to you know that place where I can just relax my mind and not feel the stress but um, doing YouTube's uh, videos just really made me feel um, um, happy to do them and it like I said it was a escape um, into my stressful sometimes most times world and um, it was just thinking of something that um, like example I have a new powder brush boy am I excited about that powder brush and that's not made up that's true I love this powder brush now that we're talking about it it's from it cosmetic it cosmetics and um, I got really excited about it and I wanted to share with you why do I like it you know why is that such a big deal well it's just a powder brush that I feel grabs on to loose powder or even compact powder and distributes it just so evenly on your skin and it feels good and it was soft and it was just one of those brushes that I thought okay it's not cheap cheap but it's definitely not drugstore um, brush not to knock drugstore brushes because I use drugstore brushes for years and years but it wasn't prickly it was soft and yes I could save my pennies up and I could have a powder brush because I'm a powder girl as you saw in the drawer and um, share with you why do I like it and um, a lot of it has to do with the construction of the brush and how well it adapts to what I want to use it for and just how well it's made and it cosmetic makes great brushes so little things like that I just felt like well it's fun to share because um, it might be something that you've not heard of or seen or even if it's as simple as a new recipe or maybe you're looking for um, a fun book to read or a devotional or something if I don't wait for someone to say you know hey can you do this can you do that I'm happy to post any kind of video that you're interested in um, but also you know I have to be able to um, talk about it honestly and that's the other um, reason I liked doing YouTube videos because it's your honest opinion and um, you know if 
someone is going to provide a product for me and I'm going to share it with you, then there has to be no strings attached. It has to be my opinion, what that product did for me. And trust me, there's times that I might do a review on a product that I'm so excited about, I want to get it out to you. And then I find, you know, I really didn't like this product. And sometimes I do a little extra research and look into the product and maybe reach out to the company to say, hey, what's going on with this? You know, I bought it. It's not exactly cheap. It's not working well, blah, blah, and get feedback that way and then retry it. And if I gave it a bad review or a thumbs down on it or said it just didn't work for me and I retry it, then I always will post a video about that because I want to be able to bring that to you because sometimes like a new mascara for example you might try a new mascara and I think that was the case for me with this milk mascara as you can see how big that wand is I didn't like this at first and it is down to bare bones I've even added a few little eye drops of just plain saline just to refurbish it because I ended up liking it um, at first no I made a major mess with it it was very wet so after a few um, applications and a few times of you know air getting into it but it just became the right consistency and so I made sure that I talked about it again to say yes I do like this mascara now wasn't crazy about the packaging because I thought oh my gosh it's big it's heavy but you know it sits in the drawer and if you got to put this in a makeup bag well you can tell how much uh, that's going to take up but or, or room that it will take up but uh, that's why I kind of started to enjoy what I was doing and I thought you know there's other people out there who are similar in age and similar in responsibilities and similar in um, what their tastes are and what they like and um, so that's why I started doing YouTube mostly as a mind releaser um, just to go on and focus on putting out some good content and be excited about it and uh, I don't always get to do what I want to do throughout the house because I know I would be doing a lot more but I have to you know make sure I respect the privacy I have someone else living with me so I don't want to invade and um, that kind of stuff but I do um, share with you as much as I can and um, I'm interested in all of your feedback also if there's anything you'd like to know or ask or I would even be happy to do a Q&A if that is something that you're interested in just you know ask me your questions and I'll put them together and do a video on that but basically um, that's how YouTube started for me I do not have really a love for shoes I'm not crazy over shoes I like them but I'm not crazy but I am about purses so I love sharing my new purses with you and um, like I said I love makeup I've loved makeup since I was wee little and I think it's important to do you that's what is the biggest point of anything doesn't have to be makeup it doesn't have to be the latest hairstyle but just do you do what makes you feel confident makes you feel good listen I am not really what do I want to say techie savvy I'm I learn and I can learn pretty well by other instruction I watch tutorials I listen I am a hands-on learner and so I've had to teach myself a lot about how all of this works how do you shoot a video how do you edit a video what's the best um, you know uh, where do I find the best apps how do I do screenshots how do I do this but it's there if you're interested and it's like anything else I think even though I'm in my 60s um, I'm amazed uh, with myself sometimes at what I can learn so I believe it it's true you can teach an old dog new tricks but that old dog just has to be willing 
to make the effort and learn. So I started YouTube as an escape for myself um, so that I could leave my stressful world and come here and talk to this community that has supported me and has been a um, just so uplifting and that just gives me the encouragement to want to continue to do this and so sometimes when I'm feeling really stressed um, I just think about what what can I put out that I enjoy that relieves my stress and I've been very fortunate that you know my husband's allowed me to you know have this part of our master closet um, even though you know his work takes him away and then you know intermittently back um, he's just all okay with whatever you need to do to you know keep it good and uh, so that's it so I hope you enjoyed this I hope you enjoyed me showing you my little um, room my area and my stash and yes I am blessed. I am very blessed um, that um, I have this opportunity in my life right now um, as I am into my retirement to um, enjoy uh, what I've worked hard for most of my life and to still feel good about wanting to wear makeup and um, get into fashion and still look nice and comfortable and um, you know and listen just because I'm in my 60s doesn't mean I can't learn from a 20 year old because I have enjoyed watching some of those videos sometimes it just makes me laugh because they have such free spirit and other times I'm like wow I didn't know that I really learned something and um, so that's it that's that's it I hope you enjoyed this if you did please thumbs it up and um, if you're new then I have a whole lot of videos that I've posted I hope you'll go back and watch those and that you'll subscribe and join join this um, family here so until next time be kind be humble age gracefully and um, let me know how you put your vanity area together bye